Valorant. Here we go again. Putting the awful gameplay aside, there are two major issues with this game. The RNG and the netcode. Netcode is how the server deals with players. Since data from players isn't instantly sent to the server, the server needs to be able to delegate everything so that players don't feel the delay and are able to play. Here's a simple example of something that happens all the time when playing Valorant. The enemy is able to move, pull out their gun, and shoot much faster than you could ever. Here's a clip of Chamber pushing me with an Odin. Here's me recreating the same scene, but with a knife. Did, did you see that? <laughs> the netcode not only allowed Chamber to peek me at super speed, but he was actually able to do it faster than if he had his knife out. The time difference between how long it took him versus how long it should have was 470 milliseconds. That's half a second. That means that not only did I have less time to react than I should have, but it's harder to predict his movements since he's moving so fast. This happens all the time. It takes any competitiveness out of the game as players aren't even on the same playing field. The netcode in this game has been getting worse and worse with every update. Not only does it lead to awful gameplay like I just showed, but it's almost like the game is patronizing me. Here, I didn't even stop clicking to shoot. The game just stopped me from being able to shoot. This happens all the time and it's not lag. This happens because the server has already declared you dead. It just hasn't told you yet. This happens even with 22 milliseconds of ping and it doesn't seem to matter if the enemy has more or less. The server often registers people as dead, but instead of showing you that you've died, it keeps you alive for about half a second so that you have the illusion that you had time to react, even if the server has already decided that it won't register any of your shots. Now, no one likes peak advantage, which is where someone peaks you, so you have to wait for their game to update the server then the server to update you before you can see them, let alone react. To stop peak advantage, you need sophisticated netcode. Valorant, however, decided that instead of trying to tackle the difficult issue of peak advantage, that they'll simply try their best to mask it. Netcode should always be top priority in games. It's the only thing keeping a game fair. RNG, or random number generator, decides where your bullets go. For shotguns, the RNG is always active, controlling where your pellets go within your range. Now, RNG should be random, but I'm going to prove that this game meddles in your affairs and that your bullets aren't random. The bullet spray in this game isn't actually random. The game does a lot of calculations to determine whether or not your bullets should land and where. Let's start simple with a few obvious examples. Here's the judge's RNG in the safe house. And here's the RNG when actually shooting at people. I mean, come on. Eight pellets went into one-fourth of the space. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, definitely random. Here's another simple example. Direct hits no pellets could have missed. One. One pellet. It was one pellet. Why? Because the game knows Neon is low and wants to give low health players a little edge. It happens all the time. I'll hit someone who's low, and even if I kill them, the amount of pellets that landed makes no sense given how close I was. In contrast, when shooting at a phoenix alt with a judge, it's not unusual that I get over 200 damage with a single shot, as if the game thinks phoenix's alt should be easier to kill. Now, I did do the math for some of these, and the odds were so ridiculously low that I triple and quadruple checked the math. Most came up to between 1 and 5% odds that the pellets would actually go into those tiny little crevices of my range. People really don't seem to understand the major role RNG plays in the game. You can't kill anyone unless the game decides that you can. The only exceptions are when you're opping or the first shot or two from a rifle. 
If you play any other game, the only RNG is your spray pattern, which you can control with some skill. But in Valorant, they don't want you to control anything. If you miss your first shot, just aim vaguely and hope for the best. Oh, Valorant, just when I thought you couldn't get any worse. Random voice lines. Huh, <laughs> they think I'm an old dog? I'll show them just how many tricks I know. I would apologize, but alas, they are dead. My boat are broke! Send five more! I'll do this again! I don't know about some more Yoru lines. No one can hold their breath forever. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were not part of my bigger picture. Yeah, I mean, do you really want to get choked? I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, sure. I'm down.